Hey, what's going on, everybody? Sammy the Kim here, and I'm back with another one. Today, we are breaking down the St. Louis Battlehawks versus the DC Defenders. Now, DC would have liked to win this game to bring themselves to 4-4, four and four, come closer to making the playoffs, but I think with this loss today, their playoff hopes are finished. They drop to 3-5. and five. St. Louis goes to 6-2. and two. Um, The San Antonio Brahmas also won today. They go to 6-2. and two. So, I think the playoff hunt is over at this point. I think this was the last game that could have shaken up the playoff possibilities in the UFL for this year. But you got the St. Louis Battlehawks, you got the San Antonio Brahmas in the XFL division, and on the USFL division, you got the Birmingham Stallions and the Michigan Panthers. Now, obviously, there's two weeks to play following this week, but um, I think this might be an opportunity for some guys to get healthy, some players to sit out. Obviously, AJ McCarron didn't play today, uh, Manny Wilkins got the start today. He actually was their leading rusher with 79 rushing yards and he didn't do too great in the passing game, but he was 9 for 18, 50% completion, 126 yards, no interceptions, no touchdowns, didn't hurt them, didn't really help them, but in the running game, did a really good job. Wayne Gallman ran the ball super physically. He only had 35 rushing yards, but he had two touchdowns. Um, and then you got Sailors with 27 rushing yards. On the receiving end of things, Hakeem Butler with 39, Wayne Gallman with a 38-yard reception. I think that was on a screen, really long play in the second half when they needed it. <clears throat> Honestly, got them close down into touchdown ter into um, red zone territory when they really needed it. You got Averett, Averett with 22 receiving yards, Sailors with 14, Sutherland with 13. So honestly, not a super extravagant game in the passing game for uh, the St. Louis Battlehawks. I don't think it was a crazy game for Jordan Tiamu either. Um, he threw for 196 yards, 57% uh, completion, 23 of 40. So he threw the ball a lot. Um, only around 50, close to 60% completion percentage, two touchdowns, but two interceptions as well. I know for sure one of those interceptions was on his tip pass. I think another one was on an overthrown pass, but um, decent game today. St. Louis was able to come out with a dub. We're going to be looking at all the highlights from this game. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. Let me know what you thought about this, and we will get straight into the breakdown. Okay, so St. Louis started with the ball. They're going to hit Hakeem Butler on this slant. Um, if you've watched any of the St. Louis Battlehawks, you know that they move Hakeem Butler all over the place. He's the number two receiver, number three receiver out wide right here by himself. This looks like an RPO. It looks like they're run blocking, but he's got that slant on the backside. If he wants it, he decides he does like that slant. There's nobody really in that throwing window. So he's got a wide open throwing window and you see how the linebackers, they trigger down to the play action. Obviously, this is the first play of the game, so they're going to trigger down. They have nothing else to keep them back, but triggers down. Manny Wilkins pulls it, and he hits Akeem Butler for the slant. Easy completion. Great way to start the game as well, to get that rhythm going with your top receiver, who is the top receiver in the US UFL right now. Um, I think he's probably going to finish the season that way as well, unless somebody has a couple of really good weeks. But here you go right here, trying to run kind of the rug, rub concept. You see number 18 trying to... Um, Stay in his way, getting the DB's way, and uh, Shepard's trying to come underneath, but uh, he plays it well. He passes it off. Really good job from this defensive back to pass this off, to notice that they're trying to rub, notice what they're trying to do, and that's good play recognition right there. Way to make the play, and it's incomplete on third and two. Fourth and two, St. Louis is going to go for it right around the 50-yard line, and they're going to throw a fade ball one-on-one -on -one fade ball and it is incomplete tough play right there tough play right there he wanted the play he wanted the pi i don't know if he's gonna get that pi i don't know if you're gonna get that brother either way fourth and two they didn't get it dc gets the ball now second and one for dc they're gonna run it and first down i don't know what i was about to say first down right there here you go you get a back end view of it uh play action Looks like he's got his tight end open, and he's going to get the ball to him. Really good job right there. Get a look. I think he came from over here on the deep over, number 89. He did. Looks like they're trying to look like they're running stretch. Boot back around. Front side tight end is staying in, in to protect, which he needed it. And Tiamo's going to get the ball to his tight end. Really good job on first and 10. Great execution. The, the beginning of this game was really like a defensive game. Um, nobody was really... Uh, setting themselves apart early on in this game until somebody eventually did set themselves apart. But you're going to try to get the ball out wide here to your running back. Um, St. Louis is in a zone on the back end here. Looks like they're kind of in a cover three. Can't really see what's going on down here. Looks like this corner is just manning it up. But definitely looks like uh, it might even. 
I don't know. It's definitely. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It looks like zone. If you look at some of these guys, it looks like they're zone and like they're attaching once they get a certain distance. But I'm going with cover three here. I like cover three here. Either way, um, it's not going to be completed on third and nine. DC's not able to get the ball out to him. Looks like Jordan Tiamo took a hit as well. He kind of did late, low as well, right here. Either way, incomplete pass for the running back, and they're going to attempt a 48 yard field goal. It is right down the middle. Once again, those UFL kickers setting themselves apart from the rest of the pack. Setting themselves apart. Here we go, second and 10 for St. Louis. He's got pressure, and that pressure is gonna amount to a sack. He had pressure all in his face. Looks like they're bringing a little pressure. The D lineman gets set free from that guard. Looks like they're trying to run this screen back underneath to Akeem Butler, but he's got pressure in his face. He's not even able to get to him. But also, it kind of looks like the deep, or I mean, the, he kind of had a window to get the ball to him and he would have made something happen. But he's not even able to get it off to him because D tackles right in his face. That D ends in his face as well. Guy unblocked, guy unblocked, guy unblocked. Three guys unblocked and eventually another one comes free, but they're getting there for the sack. Really big play right there. Really big play. Big time sack too. Third and 22 coming up. For St. Louis, Manny Wilkins is going to scramble, which is something that he did a lot of today. The 79 rush yards, and I think they had a hold on that play. So they probably declined the hold and ended up punting it off in the for anyway. Here we go. First and 10 for D.C. 3-0 lead for them. Six and a half minutes to go in the first quarter, and they're going to hit the little spot route. Quick little five yards there from Smith. Nice way to find the window right here. You see this guy shuffling out. That's the that's what you want to see. You got the horizontal stretch here from the running back. Got the corner route from the number two receiver, and you're running the spot. You're trying to find that zone and that window. Horizontal stretch is for this guy right here. So you need to sit in that window. Don't run to be covered. Sit in the window, in the open space, which is what he did on that spot, and he gets close to first down yardage, about two yards short of first down yardage. Here we go. Got Chris Rowland in the backfield, running like a read option with the quarterback, pulling that guard around for your lead blocker. He pulls it and does not hand it. I think this was the trigger guy right here, this guy on the outside. He pulls it and he gets the first down on second and two. Really good read right there. Here we go, third and four, third and four. Here we go. Stick concept down or up here at the top, or you can call it stick by the tight end, out by the outside receiver Smith. But um, he's going to hit the stick to the tight end who doesn't run away from coverage, but hooks it up kind of. Good ball from Jordan Tiamo. Really good ball from Jordan Tiamo. Looks like it was mirrored on both sides too, but he gets to the tight end at the top, number 89. And he's got enough for first down yardage. So they're not hitting a bunch of chunk plays this drive, but they're dinking and dunking down the field, making their way down the field slowly but surely. Going to hit the RPO right here with the uh, guy in the flats, tight end in the flats, number 89. And he gets the ball to him. But it's going to be a loss of yardage on second and five. Tough play right there. Here you go. Third and eight. Third and eight. Get it across the middle to number 18. You're tight in. And he Ellis. Alex Ellis. That's his name. Thank you. Here we go. Let's watch the replay. He's coming underneath. So it looks like they're running a basic by number three here. Kuti. And Ellis is coming underneath on the five yard in route. Five yard in route coming underneath, and it looks like they're trying to. I mean, this is man, so you're not really trying to high low anything. But if it was zoned, you'd probably be trying to high low somebody. Either way, it's man, so you just go win. And then they got a deep end on the backside, too. I don't know if this is a deep end or I can't really see the route by number one out there. But good ball from Jordan Tomu to the tight end. He takes a hit as well to hang on to the ball. Really good from him. Hands catch. Love to see that. Love to see that. Good ball from Tomu. Good catch from Ellis. Great job. That guy. Tried to rake it out, too. That's really good. Really good hands right there. Strong hands. Love to see that. Here we go. Um, running the reverse to Kuti. See it right here. Fake the counter. Fake the counter. And the tight end's arcing back around. Look at it. He's faking like he's pulling with that guard. Looks like they're trying to run a tight end guard counter. Instead, it's a reverse. And he's got good blocks out in front of him. Really good blocks out in front of him. Take off. Oh. Almost. Still a great play. Still a great play. Really good blocks. 51 almost got that guy. Kuti would have been able to stay on his feet. He might have been able to get in, but really good play nonetheless. Really, really good play nonetheless. Great job. 
Great job. There we go. Get on him. Got him. Ugh. Why did he trip? Oh, he stepped on the... Gosh. Right there. All it takes. All it takes. Either way, good play for the first down. First and 10 now to the running back, and he's not going to find any success in the run game. They didn't really run the ball super successfully. DC didn't. They only had 89 rushing yards. Um, Jordan Tiamu had 30 of those. Kuti had 19 on that one. So right there. And then uh, Harris, the other running back, had three rushes for three yards. But 37 was their leading rusher, Hagens. And I don't know. I mean, with 89 rushing yards against one of the best offenses in the league, even though they were shortchanged, I don't know if you're going to be able to be super successful with that. So they're trying to hit Chris Rowland on the deep end, it looks like. Looks like he's running a 10-yard in, um, and the ball kind of just floats on him. Ball kind of just floats on him for the interception. Don't really know. I mean, without fully knowing what the concept is, got to believe this is most likely Jordan Tamu's fault. Looks like Chris was open or had there was a place for him to put the ball. Looks like he kind of just floated it. And it's an interception. Cannot have it, especially in the red zone. Most likely going to get at least three there. What down was that? That was second and 14. So at the very least, you're hoping to get three there and you end up getting nothing. Against some of these better teams in your division, you cannot have this happen. So, yeah, I mean, looks like him and Chris are on the same page. You got somebody on the outside of Chris as well. Oh, look, we went too far back. You got somebody on the outside of Chris as well. So he's the under. He's the 10-yard in. And then you got... Maybe another in at like 15 coming in behind him. But it looks like Chris, I mean, Chris, there's, Chris is open. Chris is open. Tamu just misses him a little bit, floats it a little too far ahead, and it's an interception. Tough, tough break right there. Tough break right there. Mm, he tried to lead him. He let him just a little too much. Just a little too much. Right there. Fingertips length out. Tough play right there for DC. St. Louis is going to start with the ball at the 30. First and 10, Manny Wilkins is going to run, which is what he did a lot of in this game. He's going to get good yardage on first down. He's getting back to like, he's getting like eight yards on first down. Really good job right there. He did the first down sign. Not quite, brother. Ah, he tried to. <laughs> hey, he tried to play it off. <laughs> nah, Manny. Nah. Nah, he tried to play it off. He tried to play it off. No, bro. You just did the first down sign without getting the first down, bro. I caught you. I caught you. It's all good, though. Good run. Good run. Good run. Good run. Here we go. Second and two. He's running it again. Read option. Got the tight end. Uh, Bam and across as your lead blocker. So they're faking like they got this zone, split zone. I'm sure he has the option to hand this or pull it. That DN crashes down. He's probably your read right here. He pulls it, and he's getting good yardage. Really good yardage. Big time hit from that safety. Now do the... There you go. There you go. There you go. That's when you do the first down sign. There you go. Yes. Okay, here we go. Second and 10. 14 minutes to go in the half. Low pass to Shepard, but it's not going to be completed. Looks like this might have been a scene. Looks like he's giving eyes once he gets in that window and the safety came over top. I think they might have reviewed this for pass interference to see if he was early. I cannot remember if they ended up calling pass interference. We might get to see it here. There. He was early. He definitely was early. I just genuinely can't remember if they called it. And like, would that pass have been catchable? That's what I don't know. First down. That must mean they accepted it because it was third and 10. Yeah. Must have mean that was a successful challenge. Either way. Oh, yeah. Call. Com Wait. Call confirmed. So does that mean that the original call was confirmed or the review call was confirmed? I don't know. Either way. I don't even know what down and distance it is right here, man. Either way, I think this is a first down. First and 10 for St. Louis. Manny Wilkins is going to scramble. And he's going to try to make something happen. And he does make something happen. There you go. First down. The correct first down time. First and 10 again. RPO. Hakeem Butler. Great route here on the slant once again on that RPO. Got the... Uh, got the so honestly, probably a receiver illegal man downfield. Oh, my gosh. But... Um, 
He's got the option to hand it or pull it. He pulls it. Hakeem Butler is very physical on this slant. I mean, he doesn't really have to be physical. The defensive back is playing outside leverage, but he takes a big time hit. Oh my gosh. Stood tall through it though. Great job. Oh, they did call a flag. They might have called a legal man downfield. Yep, a legal man downfield. Knew they got him. There's no way they could. I was thinking, they, there's no way they could have missed that one. Second and six here for St. Louis. And Manny Wilkins got pressure. And he's getting there for the sack. They brought pressure on the edge. If you watch these DC games, they love to bring pressure. They want, they love to run man. And especially when they got you in a favorable situation for themselves, they're going to bring pressure. This is an amazing rush. Look at this linebacker coming around on this rush. Dip the shoulder. Great bend around that edge. Oh my gosh, this is textbook. I mean, I'm no, I'm no freaking D, D, defensive end rush pass rush specialist, but I think this rush looks pretty good for somebody who's a novice when it comes to pass rushing, pass rushing things. I don't know anything about pass rushing, but this looks pretty good to me. Oh my gosh, great play, great play, great play. Oh my gosh, love to see it. Love to see it. Here we go. Third and 17. Third and 17. Here we go. Screen to Sailors. And he's making things happen. Would love a little better block here from Butler to get somebody. But he's trying not to get ran up on. I know that feeling. Would love him to lock up with one of these guys, though. I mean, the linemen, they kind of get a pass. Linemen in space, not the best. They do what they can. But, man gotta get this good run though good play on third and 17 to make it a fourth and manageable if they want to go for it and they are going for it looks like a fourth and three to me they're going excuse me they're going for it 10 minutes to go in the quarter in the half and he's very close to the first down he does get the first down what a play for manny wilkins first off Let's look at the pass concept. What do we got? Um, looks like they're trying to get a rub here to the running back. This is what they're working. Look at Hakeem Butler right at the snap. He's going for the pop on the linebacker, and the linebacker kind of latches up with him. He still hits him. Oh, my gosh. But uh, he had pressure before he could really set up. Manny Wilkins had pressure before he could really set up, so doesn't get to do anything with it. These pass rushers are going stupid right now. Oh, my gosh. Look at this rush at the top. Watch the chop, the jump chop. And then coming around the edge, the spin. Woo! Woo! And then the reach, the effort, uh, outrageous effort from Wilkins. Amazing effort from Wilkins. I mean, what are we talking about? This is amazing effort. Great spin, trips, stays on his feet, get the first down, reach for the first. That, and that's great wherewithal for him to know exactly where you have to get. To know exactly where you have to get to for the first down. I mean, come on. Third and four here for St. Louis. Eight minutes to go in the half. Wilkins is going to scramble, and they're going to get 72 with a hold. Got to see that one. Hard not to catch that one. Hard not to catch it. They're going to end up getting three. 26-yard field goal attempt is good. Making it a 3-3 three three ball game. Second and one for DC. Seven and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. And he's getting a little pressure. Number three is going to take it, and he's not going to get much. I can't remember if they ruled. I think they ruled him down off that first hit. They had to have ruled him down off that first hit. Had to have ruled him down off that first hit. There's no way. Like, I remember when I saw this live, I was like, what? Like, how can he? Oh, he tripped. Did he trip over? Oh, no, he tripped over himself. That's probably why he thought. Because he did break that tackle. If we're being real, he broke this tackle. He tripped over himself. And that's probably why he got up. But is that legal? I don't. I don't know. Remember they threw this flag, but I can't remember what they threw the flag on. Uh, legal chop block. Okay, third and 16 for DC. I'm gonna hit the out down here to number 18. Their tight end. And he's gonna get down immediately. Ellis, their tight end. Running the return route, or the whip route, if you call it. So you got the whip, and then the out by number three, who is Roland, Chris Roland. And then you got the go on the outside by the receiver. Getting the overtop coverage out of there. You're really reading this low to high, most likely. Low up. Probably going here to here. Because the top route is a little more long developing. And honestly, it's probably different reads within zone and man. This looks more like man to me. 
Uh, not even. This kind of looks like zone. Kind of looks like quarters, honestly. Like four, four X, where it's like quarters, but you're manning up this X receiver back here. That's what it looks like to me. Either way, um, or it might even be robber. Like this kind of looks like your one high safety. This could be like, I don't know. I don't want to overthink it too much. Looks like there's two high safeties at the snap, but it kind of looks like this guy's trying to go one high after the snap. It kind of looks like he's trying to drop down into like a hook, like robbing that receiver. I don't know. Either way, they get it to the tight end on third and 16. It's not enough for the first down. So they're going to end up punting it away. And on the punt with that, I think they faked it here. They did. And they kind of like recognized it. Really? This, I mean, this is a great play i don't know who their special teams coach is but this is great special teams coaching right here this is some really good special teams coaching right here you got all these guys on the line of scrimmage either dc has ran this before or st louis is just hip just hip and wayne gallman is doing his job well because he easily could have given this up for a first down, especially seeing like the formation that they're in. Like you have to be keyed into doing your job. Obviously this feels like a block. Like it feels like you could get a block. Like, yeah, we want to block this one, but also be keyed in, read your keys. Like literally that is his job. And so it can be easy to forget about that, but he did his job, made the play. Great job on fourth and 12. They try to fake it. Now you put your team in great position when they get the ball back, which is right now, like great play, Wayne Gallman. Great play, great play, bro. Great play. Here you go. RPO once again, this is the one Hakeem Butler's being really physical on. Um, run, didn't like the run. See the one-on-one. -on -one. Once again, those linebackers are biting down when they see that run action. And Manny Wilkins pulls it and gets it to Hakeem Butler, who takes a massive hit. Oh my gosh. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Them safeties are coming downhill. Downhill. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He was okay. I think he came back in later in the game. First and 10. Here we go. Four and a half minutes to go in the second quarter. Oh, he's in there, right? Oh, no, no he's not in there. Manny Wilkins is going to pull it, though. Um, And he's not going to find much success. He's not going to find much of anything. I'm not gonna find much of anything. Nothing, actually. Oh, but they got him on a face mask. Yeah, I remember. Buddy right here grabbed the face mask. Tough. That's tough. I think they played the replay. They did. Whole lot of face mask. Whole lot of face mask. Cannot have it. Cannot have it, man. Second and six. Here we go. Manny Wilkins is gonna pull it, get it to the tight end, and the tight end's not gonna be able to get in there. Unfortunately. Very close. But uh, this is another RPO, looks like. Or this might be a design pool. Might be a design pool. Man, he's got number 18 wide open. Just pick your head up, man. My goodness. I know number 18's like, sheesh. Oh, my gosh. He started jumping. He's like, bro, please see me back here. Please. Damn, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough on second and six. Man, it's never going to be that open again either. It's not. It's never going to be that open again, ever again. That's tough. Here we go. Third and one. Getting it to Sailors. He's trying to hammer it down in there. Looks to have got the first down at the very least. The very least on third and one. Second and goal. Here we go. Sailors is still in there. And he's trying to put the shoulder down. And he gets in the end zone. This one was very interesting, especially when they played the review. Damn. 55 was not trying to have nothing happen at all look at number 24 take the ball all the way too give me that <laughs> dudes are so petty but he, he didn't they showed like an air like when you see this view obviously this view is not this camera angle that we're looking at is not right down the goal line so it's very possible like if you see like it looks like right when he's about to break the plane the ball gets ripped so it's like did he get in there I don't know if you can say he got in there. And then this angle, it looks like he gets in, but this also is not right above the goal line. So it's like, it's easy to say he got in, but the ball low key got like ripped out. Either way, they must've ruled it a touchdown because here we go, one point attempt for St. Louis. And uh, they're trying to run a little rub and he's unable to come down with it. Trying to rub that guy. You're trying to rub him without really like rubbing it without bumping into him. You're trying to make it look accidental. He's not able to really bump him like that, but uh, Manny Wilkins still got the ball up and down. 
Um, I just don't think it might have hit the DB's back. Or, can't really tell where the ball fell. It might have just dropped it. it might have just been a drop by Shepard. Either way, they're not able to come down with it. Nine to three lead for St. Louis. Fifty seconds, a uh, minute left to go in the half. Here we go, DC. Throwing it across the middle to, I believe, Scott. Ty Scott, I think. They are. Here we go. Um, kind of looks like a seam bender. Seam bender. Got the two high, bending in that window. And he gets the catch. Really good job. Really good job. Good ball from Tamu. Good execution right there. Good execution. Here we go. Third and eight. Tamu's got pressure. He's going to get away. And throw it out to Scott once again, who makes the catch barely on the sidelines off the scramble. Really good job there. It kind of looked like the defensive back got a hand on it, but he didn't. It was just kind of like distraction drill where a distraction may throw you off for a second. But you see he's able to make the catch and get the two feet down. Really good job. Really good job for Mr. Scott. Great job. They're going to play it over a couple times here. Tamu gets the pressure. Break away. Get out. Separate. And see, like, look, it looks like he hit it. But he did it. It might have hit his fingertip, but great concentration from Scott. Look, look at this angle. You get a really good look at it. Does it look like he touched it? Almost, but just barely. Just distraction. He might have thought dude was going to slap it down. He ended up not. You're not ready for the catch. He does make it. Foot tries to slide out of bounds, but I think it stayed in bounds. He got that other foot down, too. They might not have ruled him for first, though. Can't remember what down that first down. That was third and eight, so he must have got it because they end up in fourth and five. Either way, they're going to kick a field goal, 49-yard field goal attempt, and it's going to first look like it's out right here. It looks like it might have been out, but it curves back in and goes nearly right down the middle for the good field goal with six minutes to go, six seconds to go in the half. Now you got the second half. DC's got the ball, 96 lead for St. Louis, 14 and a half minutes to go in the quarter, and Tom was going to scramble and get good yardage off the scramble making mike rose miss and slithering through there for good yardage really good job right there really good job here we go second and five second and five getting it to chris Rowland on the screen and he's getting the first down at the very least see all the linemen pushing out in front of him d lineman had good recognition though good recognition saw the lineman just follow the lineman look at him he saw the lineman go, I'm going with you. Well, you must be going somewhere. You must be going where the ball's at. I know you shouldn't be going out there. That's for sure. Good completion. Good uh, first down. Good first down for them. Good first down for DC. Good play for Chris Rowland. Third and 10 for DC. Here we go. Running that spot concept down here. Up top, looks like they're running double slants. And they get it to Smith. Brandon Smith. Really good reception for the first down. On second, on third and 10. Really good job right there. Here we go. 10 and a half minutes. 10 minutes to, close to 10 and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Second and 10 for DC. Tom was going to break a tackle in the back, in the backfield. The, from St. Louis's best pass rusher. Barely gets away. And Tom gets the ball off to his tight end. Ellis, who almost gets got. But I think he crossed the, the pylon before. He's got possession. Ooh, man. I don't even know if they replayed this. I remember watching this live. I can't even remember if they replayed it. But sheesh. Boy, you better be careful. I think he got in the end zone, though. Touchdown. Good job. Great job. Don't even know. Don't even remember what the concept was down here. So you got your tight end right here at number three. Looks like they just lost him. They just lost him. So you got your flat player down here. Trying to look at the coverage right here. Kind of looks like quarters. Looks like quarters. So it, it looks like um, special. So they're playing in, out, one high over top of him. But this guy's manned up. So he runs the hitch. This guy doesn't have any other responsibilities other than that receiver on the outside. This might be a tight end too, actually. So that might be why it's like that. That is a tight end. But it looks like they're playing special here. So quarters up here. Quarters up here quarters and they only have one receiver responsibility so it's basically 2v1 over here and then you got a uh, special right here so 
in you got in first inside you got first outside and you got anything first vertical so um that guy over top of them goes vertical gets his eyes turned that corner runs uh that tight end runs a corner but this guy's already latched on nobody ever came inside for the tight end for the linebacker so he's got no responsibilities and then this corner his only responsibility is this might even actually be a safety or a linebacker but I think this is a corner. This corner, his only responsibility is this tight end. So that's what leaves him wide open. Especially now that you see the quarterback scrambling. Especially now I want to hug up on a guy who I perceive as to be open right now. So I'm going to hug up on him. Nobody ever took the tight end. He's wide open. And by the time we realize it, it's a touchdown. Tough play. Tough play. Tough, tough play here. Now you got two-point attempt for a DC. 12-9 to nine ball game and they're running the slant or like the looky with the tight end and great ball great catch oh my gosh good high ball from jordan tiamu good catch from the tight end great execution right there great execution great execution great execution there you go second and 11 for st louis 10 minutes to go in the third quarter he's getting it off to hakeem butler making the first guy miss great move right there so here you go once again another rpo something that um st louis does a lot of you see they got the little spot spot flat concept spot arrow concept with the tight end and outside receiver spot right here from your outside receiver he could have got it and the arrow concept from uh hakeem butler making the first guy miss making the second guy miss or oh, that's not even jordan tom or that's not even uh hakeem butler that's their other tight end number 80 can't remember dude's name right now but what a great play from him great play from him um i believe that is sutherland no 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 not sutherland damn they got some tight ends i think that's averett yeah averett 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 kamari averett great great play from averett oh my gosh really good job make the first guy miss make the second guy miss oh my gosh on second and 11 really good yard it's got about 15 to 20 yards on that play great job first and 10 here first and 10 here first and 10 uh nine and a half minutes to go in the quarter for the st louis battle hawks and sailors getting good yardage on first down good yardage getting close to first down yardage uh manny wilkins is going to scramble here looks like he had a receiver almost with shepherd but he's making more happen with his legs now me obviously it's different when those bullets are flying it's definitely different when those bullets are flying but why not just stick your foot in the ground and go this way I mean, you got a block here, too. Like, you have somebody working for you here. Never go back inside. Everybody's inside. Like, everybody is that way. Go this way, brother. This way. This way. Really good run, nonetheless. But, man, I feel like he could have got closer to the end zone if he would have just went straight. Especially, like, your momentum's already taking you this way. Why not just... Or even, like, why not fake going this way and then, like, stick your foot in the ground and go the other way? Now, let me... I was never a good guy with the ball in your hands making things happen like i never had great agility i didn't but damn like i don't know i don't know i don't know second and two really good run from wilkins seven and a half just about seven and a half minutes to go on the third on second and four and gallman's gonna get it and he gets really into the end zone into the end zone great run right here great run see you got the um guard pulling around as your lead blocker Got your Shepard coming down, getting a linebacker, number 22, trying to get hooked up with somebody, but Gallman, my goodness, great run, great run, great run, great run, get in the end zone, good blocks from number uh, 60, is that 67 or 61, 61, really good block from 61, really great broken tackle from Gallman, I mean, oh my gosh, one-on-one, -on -one, me and you, Gallman won that, 32's got to wrap up, it's a good initial hit. But first off, you got to keep your head up. And I'm not a defensive coach. I'm not a defensive coach. Let me reiterate. I've never coached defense. I haven't played defense further than, I think the last time I played defense was freshman year of high school. So take what I, I almost played defense my senior year of high school and been a DN. I probably could have been pretty dang good. Either way, I believe they would want his head on this side. I think this is why they tell you to put your head on the, uh, across their body. I don't know. I don't know, though. I don't I don't play defense. I don't coach defense either. So I don't know. I don't know. But Wayne Gallman did break the tackle and get into the end zone. So take that for what it is. Either way, St. Louis is going to tie the game. Not even tie the game. up. Well, yeah, they're going to take a one point lead with that touchdown. And now they're going for the two point attempt, which I believe was successful. Play action. Rolling out. And they're running a very similar play to the one they had just ran. 
very similar, but uh, that end guy's got to choose. Take the tight end, or you're gonna. His responsibility is probably the quarterback, so he's probably not even worried. He's probably hoping that there's coverage behind him to take this, because that's certainly, most certainly, not his job. But um, looks like they had some miscommunication uh, back here. I mean, somebody was supposed to, maybe number nine was supposed to shuffle over there. Nobody's over there though, and Averett's wide open for the two-point conversion. Great job, great job, great job. Great job. Here we go. Third and eight. Six and a half minutes to go on the third. And miscommunication here with the guys. Here we go. Looks like they're running. Man. I'm trying to figure out. Is this two man? Definitely looks like two man. Third and eight. Definitely two man. I think St. Louis runs a lot of two man on third down, actually, now that I think about it. And it looks like they just went on the same page. So they're trying to run um, switch, switch routes here. So um, number inside guy runs a deep high corner and the number or that's number three the number three guy runs a high high corner number two which i think is scott runs a deep post and i don't know who he was trying to throw it to but he threw it right in between both of them right in between both of them on third and eight bringing it up to a fourth and eight which they punted away on third and seven now for st louis manny wilkins is dropping back looking for somebody he's scrambling now He's going to tuck the ball away and he's going to get a first down it's easy very very easy to see how manny wilkins had 79 rushing yards once you start to watch this game back i mean he's got lanes to run and obviously that's probably not something they're game planning because aj mccarron excuse me aj mccarron is not somebody who you have to worry about all the time running so i'm sure with manny wilkins it was probably the same thing like they're not worried about him running and they didn't worry about him running here you go right here though coming across little split zone split zone this guy just timed it up well i mean nobody touched him but number 33 that's honestly got to be him him or nobody brother it's you or nobody everybody else really got on their guys and gallman gets up to the second level making about eight yards on that first and ten run really good job really really good job second and two here once again way gallman's trying to find the window much different this time they're pulling the little gap here pulling the guard around to be your lead blocker and Gallman's doing a lot with it. Getting really good yardage once again on second and two, making it a first down. First and 10 here. Here you go. Um, this is a screen. And I think this might have been the screen that, oh, no, 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 this isn't the screen that Gallman got all those yardage, but Hakeem Butler did take a big time hit. So he's right here trying to run levels, basically, like trying to run, not like, I guess you'd call this boot, but um, you got this, uh, Receiver into the flats, Shepard in the flats, and then you got a deep over from Hakeem Butler on the backside. And then gotta believe, oh yeah, another out, an out down here from this receiver. So this receiver ran an out, a deep over from Hakeem Butler, and then a flat from Shepard. He tries to hit the over, and the safety was waiting on it. Waiting on it, and he gave him a big time rib shot. Hakeem Butler was taking some hits this game, I'm not gonna lie. He was laying it all out there, taking some hits, and I think they had a penalty on the offense as well. I think it was holding, actually. Yeah, they did call holding on the offense. Tough play. Third and 19 here for St. Louis. Trying to, once again, DC's bringing pressure. My goodness. All out pressure. It's third and 19, so um, zero coverage. They're bringing man, they're bringing pressure. Everybody else is in man, 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 man. They're all at different distances, but it's man coverage, zero pressure. And good play by these guys to drop out and recognize they've blitzed. But they recognize you see i mean you when you see the linemen deliberately let you go past something is wrong they would never just deliberately let you go past 33 was like hold the heck up this is not right and great play by him he went because without that tackle um i think hakeem butler might get really close to this first down i mean he's got that block right there on number nine just get him out of the way hakeem butler is going to at least run for that first down i think at the very least he's got a block here from number 22 as well like 33 made a play. 33 made a really good play here. Really, really good play here. Really great play here. Oh my gosh. Great job. Here we go. That brings up a fourth and nine, uh, which they punted it away. DC's got the ball now. Second and three. Play action. And the second interception for Jordan Tiamo. Tough, tough play. Tough, tough play. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is back when the third quarter just started. I don't know why this is going back. This is literally, like, pieced in here from earlier. But we never covered this earlier 
Um, I knew Jordan Tom went through. I was like, I was thinking too. I was like, man, we're getting down in the third quarter. Where had that second? I knew the second interception was early on in the third quarter. Either way, we're watching it now. Second, when it was, wait a minute, what was just the score then? So the clock must be wrong. Is the clock wrong? I think the clock. Okay, yeah, I think the clock was wrong there. If you guys notice, I don't know if you guys can see this. It says there's 15 minutes to go in the third quarter. But I was like, look at the score, though. The score is still the same. Okay. Okay. This is what happened. They threw the interception. The clock was right. The clock is wrong. The play, this play is not misplaced. This is when the interception happened. Either way, Jordan Thomas is going to throw the interception on a tipped pass. So I knew one of his interceptions, I mentioned at the beginning of the game, how one of them was tipped and one of them looked like it was overthrown. The first one was overthrown when it was uh, targeted to Chris Rowland. This one was tipped. Tough play right here. You see, um, I think it was this linebacker right here that got his hand on it. Right here, watch him. Yep, got his hand on it. Tipped it up to the safety who made a great play on it. Great play. Tough break right there from Tiamu, though. Look at him hit today. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Either way, um, I think this is first down for St. Louis. Can't really tell, but um, run the looks like a wheel route to Sutherland. Not even a wheel, a flat to Sutherland. So it looks like a flat and a slant combo down here. And then um, an OTB from Shepard, a spot route from here from your outside receiver, and a swing route to Gallman. We looked at the swing route, didn't really like it. Everything kind of looks like it's boxed up over here. I mean, he likes the tight end over this side. Almost ends up in an interception. Very, very close. But Sutherland gets good yardage for about on a second and two. Close to second down. First, close to first down yardage. Close to first down yardage. They're going to act like they're about to fake it, but DC is going to make a blunder. They're going to jump off sides. Tough, tough break there for DC. Tough break. First down for um, St. Louis. First down for St. Louis. Manny Wilkins is going to try to look downfield to see if he can find anybody. Um, nobody's really open. Wilkins is going to scramble and get right on the goal line. But not so fast. Holding St. Louis. Back him up again. Penalties really hurting these guys. Second and goal. Um, bad snap. Manny Wilkins is going to, in turn, take a sack for that. Take a sack for that. And, man, it looks like they had something good coming. You got Darius Shepard coming underneath in the middle of the field. There's literally nobody in the middle of the field. If he's just able to get that snap. Man, oh my gosh. Tough play right there. Tough play right there. They might have even been running like a screen. I don't know. But they didn't get the ball to him. Tough play right there. Tough play right there for St. Louis. They're going to take three when they honestly probably should have gotten six. And making it a 20-14 to 14 ball game. So they could have kind of put the game... A little bit out of reach with the touchdown there, the way this game's been going defensively, but um, unable to convert there, so they leave the door open for DC with a lot of time left. Chris Rowland running the uh, deep spot route on third and nine, basically probably running to the sticks. This is probably like a sticks route, like get to the sticks, hook up. He did that. I don't know why the linebacker ran away. Like, where are you running to? He must have, oh man, this is a good route by Chris. Make him think you're going inside. Oh, my gosh. I wish I could see this all 22 of this route because the way that linebacker looks, it, Chris made him look stupid. Look at this. Where are you going? What what made you go all the way in there? Like, it's because he doesn't have eyes on him. Good route from Chris, though. Good route from Roland. And get down, too. 51. Look, he's talking to 51. Like, damn. <laughs> I remember watching that, too. Like, what is he saying to him? And I get it now. Look, 51 feels stupid. He's like, what am I doing? <laughs> Third and five for DC. Eight minutes to go in the quarter. Tight quarters throw here for Kuti. Um, they're running that stick out concept that they've been running a lot of. They've run this really all season. Kuti hooks up at the sticks right there. Different from the last one. Last one I was saying like a sticks route, just like get to the sticks, like get to the chains. Chains is what a lot of people call them. Get to the chains and hook up. This is actually what I think is a stick route. Stick route, hook up. Um, don't run away uh, to be covered. Just hook it up right there, and he does that. Really good play. Once again, defensive back coming down thinking he's got to play. And just a little short. On third and five, really good play right there. Really good play. Here we go, third and ten. Tiamu's going to scramble. And he's getting close to first down yardage on third and ten. Very close. They're going to go for it on fourth and two. It looks like they're going fast. 
They hand it off, and it's an easy first down. Easy first down, and then some. My goodness, look. Look at St. Louis. They're not even ready. Hike it now. Hike it now. They're not ready. Go now. Great job. I mean, I don't even know if they knew what they were trying to run. They probably just manned it up. I mean, look. Buddy down here. Oh, my goodness. Woohoo! Thank God they actually weren't throwing it down the field because sheesh. Oh, try to jump press. Got yourself misconfused. Got yourself confused. Ooh, helmet off. Somebody give him some milk. First and 10 for DC. Second and seven. Here we go. Pre snap motion. The out to Scott. And he's getting in the end zone. Tough play right here for St. Louis. I mean,. I mean, I don't know what this defensive back is doing. Obviously, he's got inside leverage, but I think he's trying to, like, I don't know what he's trying to do. I don't really know what he's trying to do. But he's not able to get out there fast enough. Good ball on the opposite hash from Tamu to get that ball out there. It's a big boy throw right there. Really big boy throw to get it out to Scott, far side of the field, past the numbers, close to the sideline, and good play from Scott. Make the catch, get in the end zone. Really good job. Really good job. Watch it here. Long pass. Go get in the end zone. Really good job. Here we go. Five minutes to go in the game. And big boy catch on the one point. I mean, this is a one point attempt, though. They did all this for a one point conversion. Pressure in his face. Really only got two options on this. You're looking for the tight end. Um, this tight end or this tight end. Really, probably the main tight end. You probably would like him to act like he's blocking a little harder because you want him to, like, honestly slip through untouched but they manned it up so you know it's tough when you're in man you're getting manned up either way defensive back pis him and doesn't even make the play the tight end makes the catch two feet down right before his butt came down really really big time play really big time play watch it here pi there's the pi there's the pi there's the catch one foot two feet no butt down out of bounds yet one feet two feet right there Conversion good. Really good job. One, two. Conversion good. I mean, even there, good. Because that counts as, I believe, like a shin counts as a foot as well. So either way, he's in. He's in there. Really big time play. Here you go. Kicking it off back to St. Louis. DC is kicking it off back to St. Louis. Shepard's going to take the return. And I think he's going to make a pretty good return out of it. Pretty good return out of it. Past the 40. Getting back down close to the 45-yard line. Really good job right there. Here you go. Here's the screen that's really going to break this game open late off in the game. The screen to Gallman. He's going to – I mean, it's not even really going to be the blocks out front. There's just going to be, like, nobody. One block from number 61, really good. And, I mean, yes, it is the blocks out front. So, the running back got a really good block. And then number 61, who I believe is the center, got another good block. Yeah, your center got another good block. So, two good blocks out front and then that springs him you got that safety who's the last line of defense and he makes the tackle he makes the tackle really good tackle there but like i said gallman got them deep into red zone territory with that one um and it looks like personal foul on somebody on the defense after that play tough play though but they get down into red right deep down in the goal line, close to the goal line, and Gallman's going to run it in easily, easily. Here you go. I think he reached the ball. Can't really see it from that angle, but he got in the end zone. They're going for the two-point attempt, and they're going to be unsuccessful. Wilkins is going to try to scramble around, and no sorry. Big time hit right here, though. Oh, my gosh. Tough play here for Manny Wilkins. That's a big time hit. My goodness. Here we go. Kicking it off to your guy deep down the field. Rolling with a five-point lead for St. Louis with two minutes to go in the game. DC's in great position. Two timeouts. They still got their super challenge. Five. They're down by five. I mean, this is you're right here, man. You're right here. First and ten. Getting it to Smith. You're starting to drive out really well as well. Getting already across the 50. Here you go once again. Looks like they're running like double slants here. Or it might be a stop. I don't know. Roland, Chris stops every time they run this. But it looks like they're running double slants on the other side too. So might be double slants. And he just feels like he's open right there. Either way, get it to Smith. He makes something. He's making something happen after the catch. Really good job right there. Getting inside the 40. Here you go. Double move. It looks like they're running like a double move right here. But I don't know if it like, 
I don't know. This looks kind of this looks kind of discombobulated to me because he ran a double move, but you got your inside receiver here running a running a corner route. So it's like he was gonna run into this guy. But then, I mean, this kind of just killed them running this swing route. Get it to the running back, and he gets tackled for a loss. On second and 10 already, not good. Not good right there. Now you got a third and 14, and you get sacked. And Jordan Tiamu is going to go out after this play, too. Big time hit. I mean, oh, he got... They played this over a couple of times, but he got hit big time. I think they were trying to look for either targeting. Obviously, I think DC used their, big, their super challenge right here to challenge something. I think they were trying to maybe get a roughing, like see if that guy had hit him in the head or um, targeting. Like, I don't even know if they have targeting in the UFL, but they were trying to get something. They kept looking at like the hand right here, I think was close to the helmet. Obviously, I don't think I was listening to this with sound, so I really couldn't tell what they were trying to signal. But then you see the helmet to helmet. They did another view towards the other angle and you kind of see it's kind of more of his shoulder than his helmet. I mean, his helmet does hit first, but I don't know. I don't really think he was leading with his head. I just think that's kind of a part of the game. Either way, I don't think they ruled anything with that. I don't think they ended up ruling anything with that. Now, McClendon is going to come in for one play on fourth and 24 with 55 seconds to go in the game. And he's going to get a little pressure, but he's going to scramble out, throw it short to the tight end. Need more than that, though, my brother. He tries to pitch it back. Chris tries to pitch it back. McClendon tries to pick it up. Eventually, it just goes out of bounds. That's ball game. Ball game. Ball game. So, that is going to conclude the DC versus St. Louis Battle Hawks football game. You guys let me know what you guys thought about this. I thought it was a really good game. I thought um, DC really stood tall without having their quarterback. Um, they're missing some receivers as well. Jacor Pearson did not play in this game. Obviously, AJ McCarron did not play in this game. I think they might be missing... I don't know if they might be missing a running back, but I think they're missing one more receiver. I feel like I'm forgetting about somebody. Oh, yeah, Marcel Aitman. I haven't seen Marcel Aitman in some, some time, actually. And I feel like he was, like, one of the best in the league early on in the season. And now so uh, I feel like he's kind of weaned off later on, later in the season. Either way, um, you guys let me know what you guys thought about this game. D uh, St. Louis is able to hang on and knock D.C. really out of playoff contention. Um, D.C. is able to hang on and stay um I mean, St. Louis is able to hang on and stay in that playoff, stay in that number one spot in the XFL division. So um, two more weeks to go. We'll see what things look like as they are really shaped up for the playoffs. We'll see how these last two weeks of play look. Let me know what you guys thought about this week of play. Did you think it was pretty competitive or do you think guys were kind of um, not giving their all? You guys let me know. Um, I'll catch you guys next week. Thank you guys for tapping in. Make sure you hit the like. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe. Make sure you leave me a comment down below. Appreciate you guys for tapping in, and I will catch you next time. See ya.